Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be testing Wu Chang Fallen Feathers on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. It's a source like action role playing game in which the player assumes the role of Bai Wu Chang, a female pirate embarking on a journey through the war torn and plague stricken lands of Shu during the late Ming dynasty. Now this game officially supports TLSS4 upscaling and frame generation. It even supports FSR 3.1 upscaler and frame gen but the upscaler is not decoupled from frame gen. We cannot combine DLSS with FSR frame generation which is very useful for RTX 20 and 30 series GPU owners as they don't have access to DLSS frame generation. So I'll be using Nukem 9 mod to replace the in-game DLSS frame generation implementation with FSR. This will also force enable Nvidia Reflex which will help in cutting down the latency. Official FSR frame generation does not support it. The in-game FSR upscaler produces some noticeable ghosting around Wu Chang's character model, especially her ponytail. It also produces some noticeable noise around the grass, the vegetation during motion. DLSS for upscaler considerably reduces these artifacts. Not impressed by the game's performance, consumes a lot of VRAM even on low settings and stutters from time to time. Yeah, the game uses Unreal Engine 5. Before jumping into the gameplay, would like to thank Key Miller and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play them for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are available on PC Game Pass. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. First, I'll show you the base game performance, run it without any mods installed. The game comes with a slightly older version of DLSS for upscaler, version 310.2.1. I'll be verifying the upscaler's details like its version and render preset using DLSS debug overlay. We'll enable the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines here. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes, select the file right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file, this will enable the DLSS debug overlay, if you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file, I'll just revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay, select the file right click, open. Click on yes, ok, we are ready to run the game. We are in, that's Wu Chang. You can see some feathers on her left arm. She is infected with some kind of a feather plague. Graphic settings, display mode set to borderless window, resolution full HD, no FPS cap applied, vSync off. I have enabled vSync from Nvidia control panel. This game has a low latency mode and in order to enable it, you need to enable the in-game vSync first. Not going to do that. Motion blur and depth of field disabled. Advanced graphics settings upscaler set to DLSS. Resolution scale 67%. It's basically the quality preset of DLSS upscaler. This resolution scaler slider was not working on my ROG Ally but works fine on my desktop PC. Frame generation cannot enable it on RTX 2070 Super. See, this is DLSS frame generation. FSR frame generation cannot be combined with TLSS in this game. Using low to medium settings will be targeting 60 FPS, 60 to 80 FPS with these settings. Post processing low, vegetation quality and global illumination low, rest of the settings medium. Ambient occlusion set low, there is no medium preset that's why other preset is high. Global illumination and vegetation quality settings are very heavy on the GPU. I gained around 10 to 15 FPS by changing these settings from medium to low on my GPU. Yeah, we are in. That's Wu Chang. I am standing at the entrance of Reverend Temple. Check out the image quality. Yeah, it's looking clean. When we are standing against some trees, some fuzzy textures are produced around Wu Chang's character model. Her hair. See some grainy textures. Nothing extreme. These grainy textures become more aggressive when we switch to FSR upscaler. Not observing any ghosting around her head. Okay, FPS is close to 60. This is the game running without frame generation. Random NPC interaction like this disables FSR 
and DLSS frame generation in this game. What a weird decision. Your FPS will suddenly drop from 100 to 60 when such an interaction occurs. I'll quickly clear the area. Check out the DLSS debug goal in the bottom left corner. And the PC used this K version of the scale 310.2.1. DLSS auto expose setting is enabled by default. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Okay, whenever we activate checkpoints in this game, it causes a hiccup. You will see an icon in the top right corner whenever you activate a checkpoint. Just observe the grass here. This area is perfect for highlighting the upscaler's shortcomings. I'll just switch to FSR upscaler. Super resolution over sampling set to FSR. Resolution scale 67%. Resume the game. It's running using FSR 3.1. My character is completely stationary, not moving. Hair image quality is looking sharp. Good sharpness level. Just observe the grass in the background. No noise is produced around it. Now I'll start moving. Just observe the grass. The game world. As you can see, some noise is produced when viewing the grass from a far off distance you can see a shimmering like effect it's easily noticeable here see combining fsr upscaler with fsr frame generation will only make matters worse now observe wu chang's hair hair is looking grainy and when I spin the camera quickly, some ghosting is produced around her ponytail. I'll just enable FSR frame generation. Frame generation on. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 100. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Look at that thick frame pacing graph. I'll be fixing it using OptiScaler mod. But oh my god, just check out the image quality. Wu Chang's character model is now looking pixelated. And you can easily see the ghost trail around her character model now. FSR upscaler produced this ghosting. Frame generation only made things worse. Made the effect more noticeable. And the grass quality. So much noise around it. This is why it's not recommended to use FSR upscaler with frame generation in this game. Especially if you have an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU. Just wanted to highlight the ghosting issue which is produced when we quickly switch our weapons. I'll just switch from my longsword to halberd. Just observe my weapon here. See the ghost trail. Very ugly ghosting is produced when using FSR 3.1. Now I'll show you how to install Newcom 9 and off scaler mods. Before installing the mods, make sure to disable FSR frame generation and just set the upscaler to DLSS. With FSR upscaler, the mod will cause the game to crash. We'll be using build 0.130, universal version of Nukem 9's mod. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods website. Just click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. The download will start. We'll be using the latest preview 13 nightly build of OptiScaler. Can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. Click on the dot 7 link here, 0.7.7 preview 13, 2025-0719. We'll be using the latest version of TLSS subscaler, version 310.3.0. Can be downloaded from Tech Power Ups website. Just click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. NVIDIA app still does not have this version of TLSS subscaler available. First, I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Copy optiscaler.ini and optiscaler.dll files. You just need to paste them in the games install directory. Open Xbox PC app, go to your library. Select Fu Chang. Click on the three dots here. Click on manage. Click on files. Click on browse. Open the games install folder. There's Fu Chang. Content folder. Project underscore plague folder. Binaries folder. WinGDK folder. Paste the two files here. Just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file. From here, you just need to set tx12 upscaler to dlss, fg type to newcoms as we will be using newcom9 smart. 
I'll show you how to fix the thick frame pacing graph of Afterburner. Scroll down until you find NV API section. There it is. And just set disable flip metering setting to true. Click on file, click on save. That's it. Open its archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy this dll file. DLS is G2FSR3. AMD is better. Just need to paste it in the games install directory where you install OptiScaler mod. Binary is WinGTK right here. Now I'll manually update the game's TLSS of Scaler. Open the upscaler's archive file. Copy this TLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the game's install directory. Open content folder, engine folder, plugins folder, runtime folder, nvidia folder, DLSS, binaries, third party, Win64. Replace the older version of the upscaler with the latest version. Now you need to make sure that hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click and if you are on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. NVIDIA control panel vSync combined with Reflex will cap the FPS at a value slightly lower than a display's max refresh rate value. For example, if our display supports 144Hz refresh rate, FPS will get capped at 138. My monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so the FPS will get capped at 224. This helps in producing a smooth looking animation with low latency. FPS never exceeds the max VRR range of the monitor. Click on Manage CD settings, click on Program settings. From this drop down bar, select Wu Chang, scroll down to the end. Enable vSync from here, apply the changes. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here, enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode, I enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator, this step is optional. Click on Display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator, we are ready to run the game. Graphics settings, Full HD resolution. Vsync off, no FPS cap applied, motion blur, depth of field off, advanced graphic settings, upscaler TLSS using its quality preset, frame generation, I'll just enable it. Yeah, it's working now, all thanks to Nukem 9 Spot. Frame generation two times. Low to medium settings, same as before. Yeah, we are in, standing at the entrance of Reverend Temple. Check out the frame pacing graph. It's not looking thick now. And this is the game running with Nukem 9's FSR frame generation. Not observing any ghosting around Wu Chang's character model, but just observe the feathers. The feathers on her left arm, they are exhibiting some ghosting. When I spin the camera, not easy to observe this ghosting effect, but it's definitely present. I'll show you FSR frame generation debug view. Just open OptiScaler menu. Don't need to change anything from here. Upscaler DLSS auto export setting is on. Just check the setting, enable debug view. Displays are working properly for all of the images. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for DLSS debug overlay. So it will flicker, but the game's interface won't flicker. Just disable DLSS debug overlay after verifying the upscaler's details. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR should work properly. Just play the game. In this game, frame generation effect gets disabled during cutscenes and random NPC encounters, just like this. You can see the subtitles for the dialogue. FPS will suddenly drop from a high value to a lower one, leading to a very jarring experience. Not a good decision by the developers. Not sure what they were thinking. Yeah, check out the image quality here. Grass is not producing that ugly noise. Frame generation smoothing effect is working properly. Not impressed by the game's performance. If you observe the frame pacing graph carefully, you will see some small spikes on it. They represent the micro stuttering which is going on. Very high VRAM usage, almost around 7.8 GB. And this is when the game is running on low to medium settings. Latency here is manageable as the base FPS is close to 60. That shouldn't be a problem. Didn't face any issues with stability, played the game for about 
one hour with Nukem 9's mod installed. Okay, now I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Exit the game. Need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file. Click on yes. Okay. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.